Greetings fellow conspirators, Motors Veil here, and today we are back playing the Escapists. And today, we are going, probably not to escape. Let's go ahead and check Chung's desk here before morning watch, as we get back into the daily grind of the prison life. Put this stuff away, because we won't need it. And tell me who's getting the shakedown, boss. Okay, okay, we're settled down. See, look at how settled down I am. Buster and Chung. Okay, so they are going to check my cell, but I think I should be fine. Um, yeah, I think we're probably good. Don't need any of that stuff. What do I need? I think, you know, it's probably about time to come up with a plan, guys, about how we're going to escape. Do we want to dig under the fences? Do we want to cut through them with it? Ooh, timber? With uh, some cutters or some files or something like that? Do we want to use that key that we got last episode and and uh, break out in that fashion? What's the what's the best way to go about this, guys? I'm not really sure. Um, I would I would say that that key is probably pretty nice. You know, we could just walk through the door, no problems, no questions asked. Uh, the only issue with that is I'll take that is that. Um, we don't know where the purple key leads. Like, we can see where all the red keys go. They all, uh... Oh, don't be mad at me. Thank you. The red... Like, we saw a bunch of doors that needed red keys to open. But, uh, doors that need purple keys, I'm not sure where they are. I assume that once we get out of a red key door, we're going to need the purple key to get out of the entrance. But, I don't know where that's going to be. So we need a red key, I guess is the bottom line, if we're going to use the key route. So maybe we should come up with a backup plan. You know, it is possible. I mean, we have the best weapon and the best armor. If we got our strength up, we could just take out a bunch of guards and they might just let us go. Uh, that's another option, but that's, that's kind of a brute force option. Um, and I'm not really fond of those. Um, generally, because... You know, I, I like to play with a little bit more finesse than that. That's not how I how I generally like to, to play my games, so... I don't know. I don't know, I guess we'll, we'll just see what comes to us if we... If anything good happens, or alternatively, if anything bad happens. We'll, we'll just play it by ear, I think. And whatever whatever items we end up acquiring is what we're going to use to make our escape. So we're not going to tie ourselves to one plan. We're going to be amenable to anything. We're going to be flexible. you gotta got to be able to roll with the punches if you're trying to escape prison, I guess. I mean, not that I have any experience <laughs> beyond this game, which is probably not hyper-realistic, but hey, you never know. Wait, Chunk, did I already... No, 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 it was Micah who I was talking to earlier. Hey, come back here. What do you got? What do you got for sale? Uh, ooh, watch. I will leave it. Let's see. Man, these weeds, I tell you, they are just difficult to find. But it's not a hard job. I actually, I kind of like this job because you get to roam around and uh, talk to people who have things to sell and jobs to do. And you also get paid, and it doesn't take too long. I mean, it's, it's the best of all the worlds. <laughs> We just saw that weed instantly grow. It just popped up right out of the ground there. Alright, we'll leave you there for now. And, let's see. What's our intelligence at? Uh, let's try to get our intellect up a little bit more. I don't think that anything that we're going to craft is going to require intelligence over, I think, 80 is the max. But just in case we don't get to read books for a while, we don't want to get too stupid. So we'll have a little bit of a buffer zone. I guess is the idea. Man, we have tons of money. Look at that. Two, almost 250. We could buy a lot of stuff. Is that Chong? Yeah, that's Chong. And Rory, uh, he has a distraction job. Okay. Exercise period. Let's go the long way around and try to get a little bit of a shower in along the way. Yep, yep. Gonna go do some exercises there, officer. Yep, that's right. Push-ups. Push-up time. Get our strength up. We want to be able to take out people. We want to do... I think the maximum we can do is 10 damage. Um, with our with our best weapon here. So, I 
think that's what we're going to try to do. Hello there, Paul. What you got for us? Foil. I do have a contraband pouch already. So I'm going to gonna say no to that one. Do we have any jobs? Beat up Wyatt. Okay, where's that's Wyatt. He's he's not too happy with us. I guess nobody's really happy with us. They're all about about even. Alright, let's see. Let's find Wyatt here. Alright. Uh that's Wyatt. I guess he's slightly faster than Paul, that's kinda funny. They're both going the same way. Alright. Nice. Completed the favor for Buster, got 15 bucks, and you can see that we were doing 9 damage there, so that took barely any time at all. Uh, <laughs> come on man, you're using a weapon, or a pillow as a weapon. I'll take that wire, and I think we're out of desk space if I remember correctly, let's see here. Oh, not quite. Have a little bit more room. Okay, we, do, we don't need this many cups. I think that's fine. So we'll just, uh, here somebody can clean that up if they want to, and if not, then it'll just sit there for all eternity. <laughs> and we will continue on. Ooh, crafting new. Take that. Uh, do I have a watch? I can't remember if I have a watch, so I'll take that as well. And might as well get our, uh, get our fatigue down a little bit. Check out the crafting note. Okay, so this is how you make a pickaxe, crowbar, tool handle, duct tape. Pretty simple. Did I already check this one? I may have. Flashlight. I've never used a flashlight, so I'm not sure how good, if any good, that is. Okay, I think I have already checked that one. Hey, Adam. Adam, Adam, talk to me, man. Yo, Adam, talk to me. Find you a toothbrush shiv. I can do that. Buster. Jar of ink. I can probably do that. Whoop. I'm not near the cell. No, no, no siree. No siree, boss. Batons. I can get this pretty easily from the guards. Timber. Yeah, I'm fine. Yep. Yep, just, just enjoy my free period out here on the lawn. Okay. Quick, quick, quick. Search the desk. Err. Did I already check this one? I might have. Yeah, I guess I did. Alright, well that's okay. Not too great of a haul today. Okay, we do not have a watch. We have tons of lighters, but lighters are pretty useful. Oh no, we have we never mind, we have two watches. Um Hey. Hey Cooper. Oh no, I can't give him stuff. That kinda makes sense, I guess. Hey Paul, here. Have a watch. You're welcome. Who's this? Okay. Breaking and decorating. <laughs> Okay, all right. Free period. Free period. Let's uh, let's do a little, few more push-ups here. Because I think after this is it work period or is it uh, shower period? I think it's work period after this, or possibly meal time. I can't remember which one. Oh, tread lightly. Okay, I'll tread lightly if you tell me to tread lightly. <laughs> okay, maybe we should beat up a guard. Oh, but we don't have any putty. That would, that's basically the only reason to beat up a guard now, is to get some putty. So we have toothpaste, but we don't have any talcum powder. I think somebody might have been selling talcum powder earlier. It was not Micah. Hey, Adam. Okay. Okay. So first we'll check Paul's desk. Nope, I'm not near there. Alright, see if Paul left the candle in this desk. He did! Aha! So that was an easy 20 bucks. And what were our other? Toothbrush shiv and a jar of ink. Okay, yeah, I didn't find either of those today. But uh, odds are we'll, we'll find them eventually. Get our fatigue down. Ooh, Jesse has a job and Adam has some stuff for us. Hey, Paul. Okay, mm nothing new. Nothing good, anyways. And once our fatigue is down, we'll go check out what Adam and Jesse had to say. So we can right-click on people without them getting mad. Duct tape. Ooh, duct tape is good. I'll take it. Ooh, talcum powder. Also, I kind of need that, so I'll take that since I have so much money. I mean, you can find this in desks pretty easily, but we'll just make that. And we can also get jobs if we right, uh, left-click from far enough away so that we don't knock them out of their seat. 
So, okay. So get your watch back from Wyatt. And, okay. Officer Irvin. So we've got a ton of jobs now. Toothbrush shiv, jar of ink. I need to either beat up Wyatt or find it in his desk and beat up Officer Irvin. Okay. That should not be too hard. Let's quickly grab our hoe and we will set about doing our lawn work. Oh, come on. Lawn work again. Easiest job in the world, but it is getting a little bit monotonous. I think uh, I think it might be time for a job change tomorrow, maybe. I'm not sure. We could go check out the jobs after we're done here. See uh, see what's new. Who is it? Wyatt. That's right. We need to beat up Wyatt and Officer Irvin. But first, I need I need Putty before I beat up Officer Irvin, just in case he has a key on him. Okie doke, and that is the end of the yard work for today. Nice. So let's go ahead and grab our toothpaste. Oh, whoops. Not my desk. <laughs> Here is my desk. Toothpaste. So put the toothpaste and the talcum powder together. Make some putty. Uh, let's put these in here for now. Put that in there at least. So Officer Irvin and Wyatt. Oh, but we should check Wyatt's desk first. Just to make sure that he doesn't actually have whatever's missing in here. He does not. But he has a bar of chocolate. Did I not go through these desks? I may not have. A bar of chocolate can be pretty useful. Alright, let's see. Rich. Rory. Buster. Irvin. Irvin. Okay, and go, 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 go. Beat him up, beat him up. Nice. Got him, still with 25 health to spare. And he has a work key. Okay. Let's, uh, let's make a work key mold, and we'll put the, the key back on him. Did anybody want a baton or a guard outfit? I don't think so. No, okay. So now I just need to beat up Wyatt because we checked his desk and it is not in there. Oh. oh, you don't see me, you don't see me. Guard heat's a little bit high because I just beat up a guard, but you know. All right, Wyatt. Oh, hey, it's Officer Irvin and he's mad at me. All right, at least we can outrun him. All right, come here, Wyatt. Sorry about that, but got to get Jesse's watch for him. Whoa, 300 bucks, that is crazy. Make sure that we don't run into Officer uh, Irvin because he's probably, probably not too pleased with us. Cooper, Adam, Rich, okay, so we're good. Doesn't seem like Irvin's gonna come in here. Let's see if we can find, is it Chung that's selling that? Oh man. So many people in such tight quarters, I can't click on who I want to click on. Alright guys, hurry up. Toothbrush shave jar of ink. That is what we need. That is what we will get probably tomorrow. Hopefully somebody has a toothbrush and a jar of ink in their desk. Okay. Standing at attention. And checking out the jobs. Talcum powder. For 20 bucks, I can absolutely do that for you. Rory. No, I'm still not doing that distraction job. Lee and Buster. Okay, so neither of those is in my room. Back of playing cards. I can do that for you, Lee. Tell you what. I'm buying that for five bucks and then I'll get fifteen for it. <laughs> that's that's what you call that's what you call capitalism. Alright, so for Micah. Where is Micah? Micah, here. Have a talcum powder. So there we go, that was pretty easy. Magazine, and eh, no, I'm fine. Okay. All right, that was a pretty profitable day. We are up to 300 bucks. I, I'm gonna kinda take a rest on the, whoa, the jobs now. And uh, hopefully tomorrow will be 
equally as profitable, and we can start on our escape plan. Hopefully, anyways. Okay. Yep, yep, I'm sure. I am sure. Oh, whoops. That is the wrong key. Alright, guys, that's it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, then please hit the like button and consider subscribing. And I will see you guys in the next video.